Well, hello again, guys. Uh, this is April from Big Blue Dog Soaps, and today I'm going to make a <clears throat> soap for sensitive, oily, combination skin like mine. <laughs> um, it's going to have uh, avocado oil, and it's also going to have goat milk, which is really beneficial for the skin as well. So, uh, let's get started. Let's see, I've already got my lye water ready. It's nice and cool. I'm just going to lose up my oils again just to be sure everything's done. Uh, Looks good. And here goes my lye water. make sure you get every last bit of lye water out of your jug because if it's one thing you have to be in soap making it's accurate because the measurement you get from soap calc is exactly what you need every drop of lye counts in turning the oils into soap it's not something that you can really be lenient on <laughs> otherwise your soap will be gummy or runny or it, it'll fail, it won't, it'll seize, or it'll set up, or, you know, it just, it does a million different things, and you just never know. <laughs> so, let's get this started. And I'm just going to take this to emulsification stage. I'm going to try to do a little swirl. I've been on a natural soaps making binge lately. I love the colors and stuff, but I also just love making really pure, beautiful, plain, if you will, soaps. Looks like that looks pretty good already. And so no fragrance or anything at all in this. I'm aiming this to be a facial soap. So ideally I want to keep things as light as possible. I'm just getting this out of the bottom of this thing here. Second bowl here. I'm just gonna use some for the goat milk. The rest of this is gonna be plain. Put a healthy dose of this in here. I always use goat milk powder because honestly it gives me less trouble. You don't have to mess with the ice cubes and all that mess. If you go, if you soak on a lower temperature, normally you don't have a problem. So I'm just going to push this to the bottom. <laughs> and bumps and clumps. I just don't have the patience for all that ice cube business and usually that's what I do with cocoa, coconut milk. I use the coconut milk powder. Um, I use strawberry uh, powder rather than using you know strawberry sludge or what have you. It's just a lot less hassle that way.
looks like it's a pretty, pretty good frame right there. So I'm just going to pour a little bit at a time. with the coconut, I mean the, <laughs> the, coconut, the goat's milk, <laughs> low height because I don't want it too deep. And the goat's milk does make it slightly thicker, so just kind of be on the lookout for that. And the goat's milk does make it slightly lighter. Which makes, you know, it's it gives it a little bit of interest and a little bit of contrast without it being too gaudy, you know. <laughs> there we go. I'm not even sure if you can actually see the difference on this through the camera. Take a smaller pour around the top. I'm going to try to fill in the other negative space. This is just <clears throat> a fantastic consistency. It's doing just what I needed to do. Get every last bit out of here. Just wanted to make a personal note on the. Uh, I've been using a water discount, which is uh, something I'm relatively new with because I always felt it was more of an advanced. You know, I didn't really want to try it until I got comfortable. You know, doing the the default settings. You know, on soap calc. And I finally felt comfortable with that. You know, of course, I still have. <laughs> still have days where the soap just will not do right. It doesn't matter what you try to do. It's either the fragrance oil or, you know, one of a million other scientific anomalies. Um, started doing the water discount. And I gotta say, I don't know if this is for every household, but I will say that I have seen a drastic difference in the amount of soda ash on my product. It is really interesting how the water discount affects it. Like I said, I've seen very, very little soda ash now. And it's really worked well for me. So don't be afraid to experiment. You know, don't be afraid to do what the big leaguers do, you know. That's, that's how you learn, that's how you grow. Use a recipe that you're comfortable with. Practice on a really small batch. Pardon me for just a second.
think I'm just gonna do a Taiwan swirl, maybe. I don't know. Something different. Let's see. Gotta get myself in practice here. <laughs> Pretty great. It's already setting up nicely. And another reason I am really digging the uh, water discount is it comes out of the mold so much better. I mean, it, it's a world of difference. It sets up wonderfully. Nine times out of ten, I don't even have problems with the corners or the edges. I mean, it, it just comes out in one beautiful, solid loaf. And that that's enough for me. <laughs> I, I try everything. I even did the, the rainbow soap in the water discount, and I was terrified. But it came out great. It came out great. I used a formula that had a little bit more olive oil in it than I normally use. You know, I had plenty of time to play, uh, but it set up. <laughs> it didn't come out of the mold quite like I hoped it would, but I really think it was uh, more to do with I had just washed out that mold, and I don't believe I dried it as good as I, sh as I should have. So when I put it in there, there was more water that had not. Uh, evaporated before I put it in there and I think that was more the cause than anything so which just you know is more of a testament to the more water you have the more time you have to let it dry out and and cure you know before and let it set up before you you know pop it out of the mold and I apologize <laughs> Joe the African gray parrot is back there just tearing up Jack saying talking and he knows he knows when I'm trying to make a video. He always wants to be in the middle of it. I'm just grateful that there's not any uh, uh, curse words or anything screaming in the background because I'm not that great at editing yet, so I'm not sure how I would edit that out. So. But anyway, I'm going to leave this alone for a while, and uh, we'll do the cutting and just stick around for the end of the video and the cutting. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm going to grab the soap and actually I'm anticipating a bit of a gel it looks like. It's still pretty warm on the inside so it should be interesting. Always want to make sure that your wires are tight, but not too tight. You sure don't want to snap them. I've made that mistake before. Interesting. Turned out really interesting. It's pretty warm in the center. Mmm, smells so good.
Sometimes the goat milk tends to make the center gel, superheats it. But since I was soaping at a really low temperature, which I always make a habit of, didn't color change or anything like that. It didn't go rancid. Interesting drop swirl. Okay, that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.